Welcome to this demonstration of Varilect, the next generation sequencing phenotyper. Varilect is a robust research tool that prioritizes gene variants by their association with diseases and phenotypes of interest. Powered by gene cards, malacards, and path cards, Varilect leverages biomedical data from more than 100 sources. In this case study, we demonstrate how Varilect was used to identify a mutated gene that is potentially linked to congenital diarrhea. Next generation sequencing was applied to a whole exome of a female child that was diagnosed with these symptoms. An initial list of approximately 25,000 coding variants was narrowed down to a list of about 500 genes using standard filtration methods. Verilect was used to prioritize this list of 500 or so genes according to the relevance to the phenotype of interest, diarrhea in this case. Let's start by pasting the list of genes into the box on the left and click Symbolize. Verilect now validates the list of genes. As we can see, all gene names were identified. We can resolve unidentified gene names using the Unidentified tab. Let's enter diarrhea as our phenotype. We can also enter a set of phenotypes with Boolean conditions for more advanced analysis. Let's click on Analyze to begin our analysis. Verilect's result page is comprised of two tabs that display subsets of the input genes according to their relevance to the phenotype diarrhea. Let's start with the directly related genes. In this example, three genes from our list are identified as directly associated with diarrhea. Expanding each result displays the evidence for the reported association. The detailed result for the first gene, TTC37, associates it with a phenotype of interest diarrhea via a publication that both appear in as well as through a disease association reported by Malacard's The Human Disease Database. Now let's take a look at the second tab, genes that are indirectly related to the phenotype. This information is especially relevant in cases where strong direct links to the phenotype were not found. These genes are associated with the phenotype based on shared pathways, protein interactions, paralog relations, and mutual publications. Expanding the row for the first indirectly associated gene, UBC, shows up to five genes which implicate UBC as associated with diarrhea and their scores. Here we can see that diarrhea was associated with the GCC2 gene and that GCC2 and UBC connect via a protein-protein interaction. Let's go back to the directly related genes tab. The top scoring gene here, TTC37, seems like a very good candidate based on its score and evidence, and in fact was later validated as the disease-causing gene in the afflicted patient. It's interesting to note that the paper associating TTC37 with diarrhea describes additional disease phenotypes, namely liver disease and problematic hair follicles, that are related to the gene. Indeed, both liver and hair malfunctions, initially not reported for the patient, were later confirmed, further strengthening the connection to the observed mutation in TTC37. In this case study, we showed you how Verilect can assist in prioritizing gene variants detected via whole exome next generation sequencing analysis in order to identify genes that are potentially causing a disease of interest. Thank you for watching this demonstration of Verilect, the next generation sequencing phenotyper. Register now and start analyzing your next generation sequencing results at verilect.genecards.org. Feel free to contact us at support at lifemapsc.com with any questions you may have.